So, Mark, ahead of Altrincham tomorrow, how's the week gone? It's actually been a really sad week for us this week. Uh, we've lost one of our valuable Aldershot members of our family, um, Tina, our chief steward, um, really sadly passed away. Um, so it's been, uh, it's been tough for us all because I, I remember her fondly as, as a player and as a manager. And it's, um, it's obviously rock, rocked us all and it's been um, you know, it's a sad week for us all. And our thoughts and prayers are with, with her loved ones at the moment. Um, and we've just been working hard in training, really, to try and put on a performance befitting of Tina. Yeah, of course. Very sad uh, moment for the club. Everyone at the club is obviously very sad to hear those news. But um, looking back to the football, I mean, obviously last weekend was a really positive one. And it's, it's all about keeping that going, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Confidence is a big thing in football. Uh, I feel that we've been having positive performances. I feel we've been heading that way. Um, it's nice to get the, the points on the board, the, the, you know, the goals. And like, like we've spoke about quite a few times, just search for those feel-good moments. Um, but that, that win's gone now. We, we obviously take the positives out of it. And we want to continue to, to use that as a, as, a, as a forward momentum for us. It's obviously still early in the season, but you look at the table and Altrincham sit bottom and without a win so far. So, but we know as, as much as anyone really that, that the table doesn't always reflect how you've been performing this season. So how, 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 you've, how have you prepared to, to face Altrincham? No, that's a false position for them. We all know what a quality side Altrincham are. Um, they play a lovely brand of football, high possession team. Um, they probably feel a bit like ourselves, that they should have a few more points on board. Just shows how tough this league is. This league's got stronger. Um, that a team of that quality find themselves there at the moment. I'm sure it's only temporary. Um, you know, like I said, they've got a very diligent manager and coaching staff, and they play a great brand of football. So, you know, we're we're going to have a really really tough game tomorrow. If, if anything, it's probably probably worse that they find themselves there because they've probably got to add a bit of fight and motivation. So we've got to match that. We've got to meet fire with fire, uh, but we've also got to make sure that we're clear and clinical in in the way that we want to execute our game plan. It's going to be a very busy schedule looking forward with a busy October and obviously we've got two home games coming up next weekend. So is, is it all about getting you know, a good moment in to, to, boost, to boost the morale ahead of what will be some tired legs next month? Yeah, no, look, it's, it's just about just keeping that momentum. We never look too far ahead. It's been full focus on this game. It's about putting our best foot forward all, all the time. It's how we prepare, how we train, how we reflect. Um, so the, the, the job never changes, as, as I always say. Um, you know, it's about working hard and, and trying to improve and get better, you know, day in, day out. And that, that's certainly our approach. That, that won't change. And um, we're, we're looking forward to the game Saturday. We can't wait to get back out on that pitch. We obviously enjoyed uh, the last, you know, the last two home performances have been really strong. And, um, you know, we're looking to carry that momentum on. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.